Have you ever wanted to add a signature line to your Power App? Well, in this video, we're going to show you how to do just that and save the results. So stay tuned. In this quick video, we're going to add a signature uh, line to an application inside of Power Apps. This particular application is for an inspection app. But the same thing can apply to things like an order entry, uh, to potentially as an interview app, or a number of other app type applications also. So we're going to add a signature line and then save the results to a database. Now that, that results could go anywhere. It could be gone, gone to an attachment, an email, could go to a blob store. In our case, we're going to keep it very, very simple and add it to a database as uh, attached to the row in our database. So let's take a look at the use case first of our application. So first of all, what you're seeing here is in our, our, um, our inspection application. Uh, we're going to uh, continue an existing inspection where we, we're inspecting a vehicle, for example. Now in this example, we're going to hit the preview button and I'll preview the uh, application we're about to submit, then hit complete. I'll then add a signature line right here. And when I click agree, we're going to save this into a database. Now the database we're going to save this into will be right here. We want to, uh, I've come added the signature uh, line, to the, a signature column to the database. And that column is a var, uh, var binary max. Uh, it can also be an image column, but that also is going to be deprecated in a future release of SQL Server. So go var, var binary max, and again, you can store this inside a SharePoint, into an email attachment, uh, onto the file system using a blob store, uh, or into the database right here. Typically speaking, for large data sets, uh, you don't want to store the large data sets, when I say large data, I mean millions and millions of rows, into a database because it's not going to perform quite as well. In this case, we're expecting maybe tens of thousands of rows or hundreds of thousands of rows. So we should be fine in this case. So uh, let's go back and actually look at our application and see how we can actually integrate this in. So back in our application, I am going to go over to insert and go into text input. And you'll see this new input here called pin input. When I slap that down and drag it right where I want it, it's got some pretty neat controls that you can do for this. Now we're, we're expecting people to use their fingers to, to sign these documents in our case. Let's first give us a better name here. I'll call this just pin signature. There we go. And a number of things we can do. We could just choose to hide the controls. And these controls are pretty slick. You can go in here and actually change the pen color. You can go through and, and erase. You can uh, start from scratch. Uh, you can also change the uh, line size. If you don't want to have control of that or your users have control of that, you can also change that as well. So for example, there is a show controls button. If I turn this to false, that now goes away. Now you'll notice I'm using a kind of a, a darker uh, background for this preview. View. So I also want to go make sure I go through and change the color of this to a, a better fill color. Right now it's that darker color. Let's make the pin color, um, I'll keep the pin color at black, but let's change the fill color to white. There we go. So now you can easily see this is a, a something that you want to be done. Let me go ahead and, and skinny that down just a little bit there. Now that we've done that, we want to go ahead and sign this by hitting the play button. There we go. And you'll see that when I play, yeah, I can go ahead and sign it however I wish. All right. Let's look at a nice fake signature. And this is the signature. So just to make sure we know that this is actually my real signature, I'll put uh, 99 so we know that that is indeed our signature. All right. So to save this to the database, we'll use either a submit form. In my case, I'm going to use a patch command. And I'm going to send this to the database because I'm actually submitting this, this form is now complete. I've got uh, the status complete, the submission time for the form, and I'm going to go ahead and add a line here for a signature. And I'll use my pin signature dot image. That's all there is to it. So once I've done that, our next step is to go ahead and test this because it's really that simple. So we've created the ability to sign this. And now we can actually reference that signature with pin signature.image. Now everything I was doing, the controls, like the size of the, the pin, the color of the pin, all those kind of things can also be controlled by you as well. But that simple line you're seeing on your screen right now is all it's going to take to actually write this to a database. Now, if you want to go to Blob Store, that's also an ability as well. But let's 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 start simple here and just go ahead and test it. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the I agree. There we go. That inspection now has left. Okay. 
And if I go back to my database, I should now have a second row, 175, I think. There we go. And just to show you what's here, I'm going to go over to this little Power App here, uh, and, sorry, Power BI uh, report. I'm going to refresh this Power BI report. I'll then point over to our 175 friend that we just did. There we go. And this is just a custom control for Power BI also, but you're seeing my 99 here as well. So really simple way to do signatures. Now, there are also controls inside of Power Apps for things like DocuSign, for Adobe has some stuff in there as well. But this is an easy way to, within, within five, 10 minutes, to get the signature line inside your application also. So if you have any questions, please add them to the bottom below. We also love to build Power Apps for you. And you can also go get some training at pragmaticworks.com on Power Apps if you'd like to see how to, how to do this yourself as well. So stay, so, uh, stay tuned for future videos but please do subscribe and have a great day. Bye-bye.